things that you have to do to be the remnant or to become the remnant. Number one, we have to be willing to stand for God when others lay down, sit down, and give up. We cannot be habitual liars. We cannot be habitual liars because if I cannot trust you, you cannot witness to me. You cannot testify for me because I think you lying anyway. I don't believe you. You can't even give the word to me because I'm going to be unaccepting because I know you a liar and I don't believe that God will speak to a liar. So I cannot be the habitual liar. I got to think about this thing. Ephesians 6, 13 through 14 says, Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day. Having done all to stand, stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, having on the breastplate of righteousness. Thank you, Lord. The second thing that we have to do to become the remnant is we have to seek peace. Yes. Yes. Psalms 34 and 14 says, depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The main thing you need to know is that God is going to fight your battles. So you don't have to be at war with everybody. Always ready to fight. You can't get along with anybody. No one is ever happy around you. You know, just like I know, when you see a hellraiser, the first thing you say to yourself, and she calls herself a Christian. <laughs> Not being judgmental, but just saying to yourself, what is it that you're not getting not out of the church word? What is it you don't understand about the Bible that make you want to raise hell all the time? Make you always ready to be at war with everybody else. Nobody can be happy around you because you make the whole room unhappy. Your presence makes us unhappy. The fact that you come and begin to dampen people's spirits, the first thing they want to know, I'm going to be there. 